Why didn't Huzan kill Nakime despite the fact that she was the only one who could ensure victory against the Demon Slayers? Well, after the death of Agaza, Doma, and Kokushibo, Muzan and Nakime were the only surviving demons left. Muzan knew that as long as Nakime was in control of the Infinity Castle, he couldn't be defeated by the Demon Slayers, as her control over the fortress was what kept the Demon Slayers at bay. But when Muzan realized that Nakime's control was taken over by Yushiro, and that he could use her powers to destroy the Infinity Castle and end the Demon King's life, he had no other option. No matter how hard Muzan tried, he couldn't regain control over Nakime's powers, leaving him vulnerable to Yushiro's influence. In a desperate attempt to protect his power and survival, he brutally ended Nakime's life by blowing her head up like a balloon. Brutal stuff. Now a question for you guys, in the battle against upper rank 1 Kokushibo, which Hashira sadly lost his life? 